I'm Chris Sterling and today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to play Feelings by Love, I think. So, first thing we're going to do is learn the chords, okay? So we got the G chord right here. It's really a G5 with this added uh, finger right there. But really, let's just think about it as a G, right? First we play a G, and then we got a D chord, and then we got an A. So we're going to learn a little simple version real quick. So 1, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, A, 2, 3, 4. So there's two Gs, one D and one A. And uh, once we get comfortable with this, we can do G, 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 then to D, 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 and then A. That's it. And then we could just like stop there and just, you know, groove to this. Uh, but if you're like already pretty comfortable with the guitar and you want to learn the next part, really uh, what ha what's happening is that we put our second finger on the third fret from the capo. We have a capo actually on the seventh fret. If you're new to the capo, I'll put one in the description below. Um, and yeah, put your capo on the seventh fret, and then you're gonna take your second finger, put it on the third fret, starting from the capo. And here we go. Then we put uh, the third finger on the third fret of the B string right here. And then we got um, this first finger on the second fret of the high E string. Okay, so really it goes like this, and we're gonna plug the thumb. Um, the middle and the ring finger and we're gonna plug only those strings right here we play them like this once then we're gonna take off the first finger okay so first part and then we're gonna use our pinky to go all the way down here so to the fifth fret after the capo right so so Okay, so that's probably the hardest part of, that, of all of it, so if you can get that down, you're in good shape. So, first, the next, then the other one. And you do that twice, so like... Okay, once you got this down, then we're going to go to a D. Okay, so here you can play either a D like this or just a D5 because we're actually not even using the last one. And then you go like this. So first you play these two strings together, so the D string and the G string. And you plug them with your thumb and index. And then you're gonna plug all of them adding this one right here, the third finger. So. once okay and then we go to the A chord okay so here we go like this the thumb is playing the A string and then um, the index and the middle are playing the G and the B string so those are the strings we're playing and we go okay so total we got So yeah, just practice with those chords and uh, you know, have fun, fun with them. It's G chord, D chord, and A major chord. Capo on the 7th fret, and that's it. I'll see you on the next one.